Hello, what's up guys? Once again, welcome to my channel. I'm a Formula One lover. Anyhow, why uh, why Ferrari? That's a preview video for the Belgium Grand Prix. Why Ferrari SF90 has got so much uh, speed on the Belgium Grand Prix and Italy. One of those two tracks. It's, uh, I believe, because uh, Ferrari's got I think horsepower do too in aerodynamics because they have uh, less downforce than uh, Mercedes. I think they're trying to stay in a straight line, the faster. It could be a power too, but I don't think they have more power than Mercedes. Than Mercedes. But anyhow, everybody's talking that Ferrari could be strong in those two tracks. But the point is, they're strong in a straight line. They have problem on corner speed or driver mistake pit stop the pants when oh and then another thing too it could be a, a rain if it rains you know you guys remember probably 1998 the biggest crash in belgium grand prix when it was raining it was so many out oh, mika hacking and david called her then uh, so many guys was it was crashed there in uh, belgium grand prix and uh, that's happened like disaster was that track there and uh, that track is so fast it's long track and uh, Haruj how you say in Haruj it's a if you call it it's a in Haruj corner that's one two three four turn three and four up in the hill it's so tricky corner you're going down then you're going up then you flat out so and you call it if it's got less down force it's fast there you will spin out uh, even without even in a dry weather you will spin out or if you got too much downforce you will make it through but you will have enough speed down straight in the line so basically how can you get to equal uh, that corner the famous uh, famous turn three and four i believe it's three and four because one and two three and four something like that uh, called the harush harush i think i believe that's what the corner called anyhow and the Mercedes, they talking about it's gonna be strong. I mean, uh, Ferrari, but Mercedes, and we'll see what Red Bull to see how much in power is gonna be there. Red Bull is very good in suspension and in a corner speed. It's a better, seem like some how I feel like even better than Mercedes. Mercedes is struggling with those brake problems in some races, but they still strong. Number one, but uh, Honda, it, it seemed like a Red Bull Honda got some more better the most stability in the corner speeds and uh, especially with Max Verstappen and uh, but what is going to be fight between Mercedes again of course the top three uh, cars going to be depends who this time in Red Bull uh, Honda we will see what uh, Alex Albon he can do because he's this time it's a uh, it's now Pierre Gasly let's see how surprised if he do good in the if he do good the rest of the season, if he do better than Pierre Gasly, if he can be the, if he can drive ahead of uh, Max, that means he's good. They make a good decision. If he can beat Max Verstappen, if, if he can finish more races, uh, the next more races ahead of Max, but it's too hard to believe it because uh, he's very good. But I believe Max, he can beat Max first of all. And then we we go with the then it's top four cars like top four cars you know it's McLaren McLaren I didn't hear too much any changes the during the breaks during the uh, season so during the summer season I didn't hear too much about McLaren changes or anything but I know they talk about uh, uh, Ferrari and Red Bull Honda Renault they they been they need to do something better Renault with uh, Daniel Ricardo, and then I heard if Ocon, I don't know how true is that Ocon it's in 2020 replacing Nico Hulkenberg, I don't know how true it is, maybe it's just talk, it's not, uh, it's not official yet, but that's what uh, the news between uh, Ocon and, uh, and, uh, and Nico Hulkenberg, that's what I heard, so it's Ocon Mercedes, man, it could go to Renault, that's something way different changes kind of just remind me it's like alonso you know alonso was a renault man the the mclaren mercedes then then a ferrari then back mclaren 
uh, Honda it just 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 back and forth they make some bad bad decisions so but the it's gonna be fight between uh, Ferrari and uh, it's gonna be uh, Sebastian Vettel's last season he won that last race and Ferrari didn't win yet this season so maybe there's the best chance for Ferrari to win that first win of the season and we'll see what Mercedes have and we'll see it's like only like three four days away for the first practice and well, we will know so much after the first day and we will know even some more any type of news we will hear more other stuff what's happening what's going on but uh, we can wait to start there we don't hear any more changes but we can wait to see what's gonna happen this weekend i'm so excited thank you i hope you enjoyed my video thank you and god bless you all please share the video if you if you like anything about my channel subscribe and share to your family and friends thank you god bless you all